Well, there's been some speculation for some time that one of these days, Rockingham County Sheriff Sam Page would possibly seek a higher political office. Well, that day came during Memorial Day weekend, and that's when Page announced that he plans to seek the Republican nomination for Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina in the year 2024. He made his announcement during a news conference held on Saturday morning, May the 27th. It was held at the headquarters of the Rockingham County Republican Party, located on Piedmont Street in Reedsville. Page has served as the sheriff of Rockingham County since he was first elected in 1998. He was re-elected in November of 2022. While this is his first run for a state office, he is no stranger to state politics. He served as the North Carolina chair of former President Donald Trump's 2020 statewide re-election campaign. He also served as president of the North Carolina Sheriff's Association and currently serves on the organization's executive committee. During his campaign announcement, Page says that he intends to continue his work as sheriff of Rockingham County during the campaign. In making his announcement, Page says that he spent most of his life in public service from the military to present day. He said he's a public servant and public safety is what he knows, and that's what he has to offer to the citizens and the people of North Carolina as lieutenant governor. Page is a 1975 graduate of Reedsville High School and then served in the U.S. Air Force before coming a, becoming a deputy with the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office and then a detective with the Eden Police Department. To make his dream of becoming Lieutenant Governor happen will depend on whether he can make it through the Republican primary in the spring of 2024. WGHP Fox 8 is reporting that in, in addition to Page, as of right now, five other candidates have confirmed that they plan to seek the Republican nomination for Lieutenant Governor. Four Democrats have also confirmed their plans to run for the job. Now, the top Republican and the top Democrat who make it through the spring 2024 primary will then appear on the November 2024 general election ballot. Star News TV's Charles Wells attended the news conference, and you can see his video on our Star News TV stations, and you can see it on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Star News TV.